In the mountainous regions of southern Mexico, a fascinating symbiosis unfolds. A story of survival, cooperation, remarkable adaption, and a curious ingredient sought around the world. This is the story of Ata Mexicana, also known as the Mexican leafcutter ant. Visitors to cities and pueblos of southern Mexico, such as Oaxaca or Tuxla Gutierrez in Chiapas, may gaze in wonder at the painted trees, the lower two meter of even the largest trees inexplicably painted white with a mix of lime and prickly pear glue. This is actually a hopeful defense against the ravages of these ants who can skeletonize a large tree in a single night, transporting the expertly cut leaves away from the scene of the crime, leaving bare ground surrounding a barren matchstick where once stood a green and thriving tree. Why so much green material? These industrious ants are masterful gardeners, cultivating their own food source deep underground. But what they grow is not what you might expect. Ata Mexicana relies on a unique type of fungus to sustain their massive colonies. Leafcutter ant colonies can house up to 10 million ants, not including the space needed for all their fungus gardens, nurseries, trash chambers, and other necessities. The largest nests can have thousands of chambers, some up to a foot or more in diameter, covering a space of up to 6,400 square feet in total. In meticulously maintained subterranean chambers, the ants cultivate a specific fungus from the genus Leuco agaricus. They cut leaves and other vegetation to feed the fungi, which in turn provide the essential nutri nutrients they need to survive. The relationship between Ata Mexicana and their fungal crop is a prime example of mutualism. The ants supply the fungus with fresh plant material and the fungus breaks down the cellulose in the leaves, converting it into digestible form of sugar for the ants. This specialized agriculture allows the colony to support its vast population. But what makes this fungal relationship even more intriguing is that the fungus cultivated by the ants does not fruit in the traditional sense. Unlike the mushrooms we are familiar with, the fungi grown in these underground gardens remain in their mycelial form, producing specialized structures called gondolidia. Gondolidia, singularly known gondolidium, are hyphal swellings of fungus contained by the, cultivated by the higher atine genera of fungus-growing ants. This fungus no longer exists naturally outside of the ant colonies. Developing larvae feed on the gondolidia and distributed through the colony to feed workers, soldiers, and queens. They are lipsoid, about 30 to 5 micrometers in diameter, rich in lipids and carbohydrates derived from the leads and are produced in clusters called staphylae. Each year, leading up to the rainy season, the colony prepares for a special event, the first deluges of June. These particularly sizable newborn future queen ants take to the skies and crawl along every inch of ground all over southern Mexico, seeking to establish new colonies by burrowing into the newly wetted earth. In regions like Oaxaca, chiquitanas are not just part of the natural cycle, they are also a culinary delicacy. Rich in protein and prized for the unique flavor, these winged ants are roasted and enjoyed by locals, reflecting a deep connection between humans and nature. They are ground into salsa or enjoyed as a crunchy garnish, and on one day out of the year, everything stops, with people out with the bags and bowls stooping down to grab these extremely rare delicacies before they disappear under the ground into their fungal queendoms until the next June. Ata Mexicana and their fungal partners give perfect example of the intricate web of life that sustains ecosystems and cultures alike. This is a remarkable story of symbiosis and survival, opportunity and tradition, a force of nature that plays its part in the infinite dance of life that includes us all.